And the Cars for Charities annual car show is back for its 67th year. Mm -hmm. The Rod and Custom Car Show begins at Century 2 tomorrow. KSN's Mally Jones joins us in the studio. And Mally, this is more than just about cars. Yeah, that's right. The show raises thousands of dollars for nonprofits, Ability Point and Starkey. Ability Point says this is a huge fundraiser for them, and each ticket helps them continue their mission. This is one of the longest running indoor car shows in the country. It started in 1957 by a car builder and Cars for Charities took over in 2011. It also is the biggest indoor show in Kansas. Hundreds of show cars from across the country will fill all three exhibit halls inside Century 2. Because of that, we're able to do programming and have our educational events and social programs that go on. And, and Starkey, I'm sure, gets to do a lot of amazing, great things, too, for the clients that they serve. You know, two great organizations that help individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We have details on how to get tickets on KSN.com. I spoke to a car owner who has been coming to the show since she was 16. I'm putting that story together for 630. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3. The annual Cars for Charities show will bring thousands to Wichita this weekend. The fundraiser is back for its 67th year at Century 2. And KSN's Mally Jones is in studio with us this morning. And Mally, you talked to someone who says they've been going to this show for decades. Yeah, that's right. Troy and Charlotte P are a mother and son duo with a 1963 Corvette with a rare split window. Take a look. It's fuel injected and one of the one of 2,000. They call the show a reunion because each year they see friends from out of state. Charlotte has been coming to the show since she was 16. She and her son have had 15 different cars in the show. The red Corvette is special. Charlotte and her mom bought it in 1967 when Troy was born. His dad was restoring it but passed away. Charlotte and I ended up finishing the res restoration project we actually painted it in our garage. We put the interior in ourselves, and it was kind of an in-memory uh, restoration for my dad, Johnny. All the money from ticket sales this weekend will go to Ability Point and Starkey. They say this show is a big help for their nonprofits. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3.